The invisible rules that control your life, behavioral science of truths. You like to think you make your own decisions, that you're in control of your time, your money, your attention, and your choices? But what if most of that was an illusion? What if behind every decision, what you eat, how you speak, who you trust, there were invisible forces pulling the strings? Behavioral science reveals something unsettling. Most human behavior is not rational, it's automatic, it's reactive. It's influenced by unseen rules embedded in culture, memory, environment, and even architecture. These rules aren't obvious, but they're powerful, and they shape your life whether you realize it or not. In this video, we'll uncover the psychological biases, heuristics, and subconscious patterns that steer your actions. Once you understand them, you can begin to take back control. The illusion of choice, why free will is often framed. You walk into a store and see three options, a basic, a premium, and a luxury version of a product. Naturally, you pick the middle one. It feels like a smart compromise. But was that really your decision? This is a technique called decoy pricing. And it's just one example of how environments frame your choices. Behavioral scientists call this choice architecture. The way options are presented can make one feel like the rational middle, even if the seller wants you to pick it. We often believe we're freely choosing, but in reality, our decisions are anchored, primed, and nudged in subtle ways. Even menus, website layouts, and button colors are engineered to push you subtly toward predictable actions. The illusion of free will remains, while invisible hands guide the outcome. Anchoring, the first number always wins. Imagine being asked if the population of Canada is more or less than 50 million. Then you're asked to guess the real number. Chances are your answer will be higher than if you'd been primed with 10 million. This is the anchoring effect the brain's tendency to rely on the first piece of information offered, even if it's random. Anchors work in pricing, negotiation, time management, and even memory. The brain uses them as shortcuts to avoid thinking from scratch. Marketers, negotiators, and even headlines strategically place anchors to shape your sense of scale, but the result is that your independent judgment is often anchored in irrelevant data, shaping decisions in the background. Social proof, why you follow the crowd. Why do people line up outside clubs? Why do reviews affect your purchase more than product specs? Because of social proof, our deeply wired need to conform to group behavior, especially when uncertain. It's an evolutionary shortcut. If everyone's doing it, it must be safe. In experiments, people knowingly gave wrong answers just to match the group. Online, we click based on popularity, not value. It's why influencers thrive and why trending labels exist. They manufacture perceived credibility through collective action. And in life, we mimic friends, coworkers, and influencers, often unconsciously. Social proof saves energy, but it can also lead to blind imitation, groupthink, or overconsumption. Awareness is the first step to breaking its hold. Fourth default bias, why inaction feels like a decision. You sign up for a new service, and you're automatically enrolled in email updates. You don't uncheck the box. Congratulations, you've just experienced default bias. Humans have a strong tendency to accept preset options, even when better alternatives exist, because choosing differently requires effort, and the brain prefers to conserve energy. Organ donation rates vary massively between countries, not because of values, but because of defaults. In some countries, you're automatically a donor unless you opt out. In others, you must opt in. People rarely make the effort to change the default. If your life feels stuck in autopilot, examine your defaults. Loss aversion, why you fear losing more than you love gaining? You're more upset losing $20 than you are happy gaining it. That's loss aversion, a core principle of behavioral economics. Studies show losses are felt twice as strongly as equivalent gains. This creates risk-averse behavior, procrastination, and emotional attachment to sunk costs. It also explains why people stay in bad jobs, toxic relationships, or failing investments. The idea of losing something, even if it's harmful, hurts more than the hope of something better. Understanding loss aversion allows you to reframe risks, view change logically, and prevent short-term fear from sabotaging long-term progress. Sixth habit loops, the triggers running your life. Every habit follows a pattern, cue, routine, reward. And once your brain learns the loop, it runs on autopilot. Wake up, cue, check your phone, routine, get a dopamine hit, reward. Feel stressed, cue, snack on sugar, routine, feel soothed, reward. 
These loops become embedded in the basal ganglia, the part of the brain that stores behaviors even when memory fails. Breaking a bad habit isn't about willpower. It's about identifying the cue, replacing the routine, and preserving the reward. Until you identify your loops, they run your life without your permission. The spotlight effect, you think they're watching you. You walk in a room and feel self-conscious. Maybe your shirt's wrinkled or you said something awkward. You assume people noticed, they didn't. That's the spotlight effect, our tendency to overestimate how much others notice or remember our behavior. In reality, most people are too busy worrying about themselves to notice you. This illusion creates anxiety, social inhibition, and perfectionism. But when you realize no one's watching as closely as you think, freedom returns. Ironically, embracing invisibility can be the most liberating insight. Variable rewards, the addiction behind apps. Why are social media platforms so hard to quit? Because they use variable reward systems, the same mechanism behind slot machines. You scroll, and sometimes you get a like, a message, a meme, a hit of validation, sometimes nothing. The unpredictability makes it addictive. Your brain releases dopamine in anticipation, not just the reward. And when the reward is inconsistent, the anticipation grows stronger. This principle drives app design, game mechanics, and online shopping. Once you know the pattern, you can break the loop or at least become aware that you're being played. Cognitive dissonance. When your brain protects its ego, you buy an expensive gadget, it underperforms. But instead of admitting the mistake, you justify the purchase. That's cognitive dissonance, the discomfort of holding two conflicting beliefs. To resolve the tension, the brain often changes the story. It's not bad, I'm just using it wrong. This protects your identity, but distorts truth. Cognitive dissonance explains political tribalism, bad decision defense, and stubborn thinking. It's why people cling to beliefs even when faced with facts. Awareness allows for flexibility. You can say, I was wrong, and move forward instead of building walls around your pride. The narrative bias, why stories matter more than stats. Your brain craves story. It makes facts sticky, emotions vivid, and complexity digestible. But it also skews perception. You'll remember a single tragic anecdote more than 1,000 statistics. That's the narrative bias, our tendency to believe compelling stories over raw data. It's why charities use emotional videos, why conspiracy theories spread, and why brands tell you a story, not just features. The upside? You can use story to shape belief, inspire change, and reframe challenges. The downside? You can be manipulated by compelling lies. In the age of information overload, the best story often wins, not the best idea. So are you truly in control of your choices? The answer isn't simple, but here's the truth. Your brain runs on shortcuts. It automates, it conserves energy, it protects the ego, and it favors familiarity over accuracy. These invisible rules, biases, defaults, patterns, aren't bad. They're adaptations, but they only serve you if you know they exist. Once you see the strings, you can untangle them. You can question why you choose what you choose, and maybe for the first time, choose differently. If this breakdown of behavioral science gave you a new lens on life, let us know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos that expose the unseen and upgrade your awareness. Because knowing the rules doesn't just change how you think, it changes what you can become.